team at sales at nationradio.scot. Live across Glasgow and the West, this is Scotty McClue's Nightline on Nation Radio. Call Scotty now on 0141 811 0475. Don't forget the house rules. No offensive language or you'll get a lifetime ban. Ho ho, my hearties, there you are. Where have you all been, I ask you? Scotty McClure on the radio, just for you, Dinky Doo on Nation Radio. Now then, lots to talk about tonight. We've only got a couple of hours, of course, Sunday night, so to your telephones as quickly as possible. We promise you a fantastic show. It's a phone-in, of course, so you need to phone in. Mind your P's and Q's. Let's hear about the moose. Which man there's a moose? Moose, but this moose. Oh, that most certainly is a moose loose about this hoose. That's not the only thing that's loose about this hoose. There's your tongues as well, of course. So there you are. So we want a few loose tongues on here, and uh, we'll get a good old chit-chat now. Because it's a phone-in programme, I'm going to give you the telephone number 0141 811 0475. I say again, for the slow of study and the hard of thinking, 0141 811 0475. The wizard of the big switch Board will take your calls, he will sign for the daft, and he will sort out the wheat from the chaff. I am Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet, and I am here at your service until midnight, the bewitching hour, when the big bosses, are we ready? Big bosses have decreed that the bar shuts, and uh, down comes the shutters, and the music plays on. Fantastic. Sunday night, nothing gets past me, of course. Off we go to the telephones as quickly as possible, because we are stowed out the door and step it through. And we've got a backlog. I've been in my holiday bags for the last three weeks, so we've got a bit of a backlog, and we need to speak to every single one of you. Off I go to the phones. Linda! Hello, Scotty. Where have you been? <laughs> Hello, my darling. How are you? Well, as I'm you know, very well. well, we had a wee bit technical trouble, and then I decided to go off on my holidays. Oh, so the, so the big boss and I had to come to an agreement on the holidays. Do you know what I mean? Uh huh. Uh huh. So that's that. So and and we're doing Sunday nights from now on. So no, it's the no, Sunday no nights. Friday, Saturday. No Friday, Saturday, because um, they quite like their music on a Friday, Saturday, although we like our chat. But I don't want to make it music versus chat, you know? Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> so it's just and we a got Sunday our night. So just a Sunday. We got our audience figures, and they're very, very good. Good. So everybody's quite chuffed with that, you know? So there it goes, Linda. But um, I think what we'll do is we'll make the Sunday nights an absolute cracker, you know? Yes, uh huh. Well, yeah, just, I, uh, haven't re- I haven't rehearsed anything because I didn't good. know if you were going to be on. Oh, no, no, I don't think you need to rehearse anything. It's just a question <laughs> of getting that big box up there, you know, and strapping it on. <laughs> now, I was wanting to ask you, when Anna was in the hospital, I had uh-huh. played the Dark Island to yes, you. Yes, and she and loved she it. she said she was sorry that she missed it. Well, did she not so hear it? If it's all right with you, I was going to oh, play the Dark Anna, Island. Oh, for Anna, yes. Yes, anything for Anna. So it's right. Just not a problem. The Dark Island, and have you got another wee treat up your sleeve as well? No, uh, I've only got the Dark Island, didn't I? Oh, well, that's, listen, it's not only the Dark Island. That's pretty impressive, dare I say. Right, uh-huh. ladies and gentlemen, we have the right. wonderful Linda, one of our top accordionists, and she is going to play, dedicated to the lovely Anna, the Dark Island. Take it away, right. Linda. Thanks. Thank you. 
a dog's tail. And <laughs> that was just beautiful, my darling. That was fantastic. Absolutely gorgeous. And what a lovely, lovely welcome back for me and a lovely Good. start to the show, courtesy Good of your talking. dear self. And, and Anna, Anna will just have loved that. She loves the accordion. She does, but she's such an angel. She loves anything creative and wonderful, uh -huh. like your good self. So, oh, so she's and she, wonderful. She found, she found you for us. That's right, so she did. So she deserves a wee damehood for that, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was lovely, Linda. Thank you so okay. much. Are you keeping okay? Yes, just can't good. speak. I can't take this heat, Scotty. Oh, I wonder the heat. Listen, I was puffed out. I was puffed out the day, and I thought I need to go away and give the car a wee wash, you know. And I thought uh -huh. I can't even be bothered. And uh, I said to a dear friend of mine, I said, "What's? Why do you think I'm getting? You know, I was once wondering, case there's something wrong with me, you know." And uh -huh. she said, "No, no, it's the heat. You can't end in, in this heat, you know." Oh, I know it's too hot. It's like it's like, it's like been up the jungle, you know. I'm just I, I'm expecting Windsor Davis to come out and say, it "Ain't half hot, mum." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, do, you remember, do you remember him? He was amazing. Linda, thanks very much. Bless you, darling. Have a lovely it's week. Lovely. It's lovely to have you back. We've missed you. Oh, you're, you're an angel. That's what you are. There you go. I've missed you very much, <laughs> And uh, well, I've missed all you guys. You know, it's a case of getting us in touch. Uh -huh. Well, I'm glad you're so, back. So, bless you. Thanks, Linda. We'll catch okay, up soon. God bless. God Bye, bless you, Angel. Bye-bye now. Thank you. That was lovely. The Dark Island with Linda. Yes, fantastic. Right, Tam. All right, Tam. Hey, righty, Tam. How are you? No bad. How is your holidays, mate? Holidays were wonderful, Tam. Absolutely, yes. Did you miss me, no? No, I did not No, no. <laughs> Well, I didn't miss you either, just so you know, but don't take it personally. Yeah, see her, it was playing a there, it was pulling my ears. Oh, you're terrible, you are. You're a shocker. Stick your tongue out and say ta-ta. Ta-ta. Right, there we go. That's him, he's gone. Now, Mr. Jax? Hello, Scotty, bye. Ah, oh, Mr. Jax, bye. How are you? <laughs> I'm all right, man. Listen, uh, listen. Scotty, the Dark Island is one of my favourites. It brought oh, tears to your glass eye tonight. That know? was gorgeous, that. That was just lovely. Can I see something, you scanny? You certainly can, Mr. Jones. I'm reading a Canon Buy book tonight. Clint Eastwood, Charles Bronson, Gil Paver, oh. and Mr. Wishbone. And I'm around the fireside, Scotty. <laughs> They've they been going to toast, and all Wishbone stood up and he said, You know, boys. The motto is, I'm passing on. Oh, they were all flabbergasted, Scotty, and he came away and he said, you know, when a cowboy dies, he shoots his wife. Scotty, I was taken by by that, you know? What's that? Come on, listen. Listen, yeah, Sunday night you're on now. Sunday night we're on because uh, they want their music. The, the music's very, very popular and the chat's very, very popular. But they've well, gone for the music on a Friday and Saturday. This is your letting down. One night a week, Scotty. This is One night a week. Right. Well, no, for now, if we prove ourselves, you'll never you'll never know what can happen, you know what I mean? Well, Scotty, I'm afraid I'll need, I'll need to put the banners up because this is not too been down too well with me and many others. I know, absolutely, absolutely. It, it's been a but the audience, we've got a, ma a massive audience on our Sunday night, and the big Scotty, boss was saying, I want to build up the Sunday. Well, can I say something, Scotty? It's been a Lonely Hearts Club for three weeks. I was depressed. Oh. I was, we are all fed up. Well, I was missing you all. We're ready to get crash a big house and get oh. out, Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> The alphabet hey. soup. You're going to leave hey, us a message. Oh. Hey. Hey. Thank you, dear Lala. Right. And we'll I'll catch up soon. Scottish. Lovely to hear hey, you, Mr. Bye. Jax. Bye-bye, Lala. Right to the telephones, folks, as quickly as possible. 0141 811 0475. 0141 811 0475. We'll start at the door and step it through. On you come. Big Huey. Good evening, Scotty. Good evening, Big Huey. How are you? Not too bad, Scotty. Scotty, uh -huh. 
disappointed when I heard the news this, the, the, the day from uh, America when uh-huh. twenty people when twenty people were killed in El yes. Paso. Yes. And then I, I heard about ten hours later that another ten were killed yes. somewhere else in America. Yes. And what's going on in America? I know. Today? Shocking. I don't know. Something's something's not right. That's that's just uh, you know it's just no way to 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 have things happening you know. Yeah, I mean, Scotty, I mean, is uh, Mr. Trump got the right idea, or do you think we need to get him out of office and get someone else in office or? Well, there's a great following for Mr. Trump, but in my lifetime, I've never seen uh, a president behave the way Mr. Trump behaves. And I don't think that the POTUS, President of the United States, should be, uh, you know, going on social media and saying this, that and the next thing about people. I think he's an actual, uh, he's an embarrassment, Scotty. I mean, I, w- I wouldn't like to think that uh, our, uh, I was going to say our president, our prime minister, uh, Boris, would want to uh, and do the same kind of thing. I mean, that would be absolutely outrageous for this this, this country. Yeah, but the only the only thing is, there's a kind of uh, reduction in the style of, uh, of of one or two world leaders anyway, you know what I mean? I always used to look up to our Prime Ministers, but to, to be honest with you, Thatcher kind of, she, I felt she devalued the office of Prime Minister by becoming a media star, you know? All right. So you, you weren't in agreement with her and, uh, the, well, not particularly her, but uh, the Queen... And Ronald Reagan and was it the eighties or the nineties? The eighties, Thatcher and Reagan, yes, got together. I mean, well, no, no, that was quite good actually. I mean, I quite liked the relationship that we had with the United States. There was nothing abrasive about it. I mean, Ronald Reagan was 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 quite a gentle character actually. Yeah, and he was funny. Yeah. Ronald Reagan, Ronald Reagan. I know he was an actor, but he was actually a very funny man. All right, I didn't, I didn't realise that's what... Oh, no, no, I mean, one one time, one time, I'll just tell you this, Hugh, while you're on. I mean, one time, um, Nancy Reagan was sitting at the back of a wee platform and her chair leg just went over the back and she tipped over and fell, fell down. And, you know, Ronnie was at the microphone speaking. And once he'd ascertained that she was OK and they'd picked her up and put her back on the platform, he says... Honey, I told you only to do it if I didn't get a laugh. You know? Now, that was a very, very quick line. You know? I've never heard that one before. Oh, no, the man had... I actually remember watching it on the news, and it was it was actually very, very funny. Uh-huh. So and people like a wee bit of humour, but, but a lot of what Mr Trump's doing isn't terribly funny, if you know what I mean. No, I, I, don't, I don't agree with his... Uh, his policies at all, Scotty, to be honest with you. I'm not a fan of his mm. building the wall and blah, blah, blah. No, I don't, I don't like this. I mean, barriers should be coming down. This is what worries me about this, you know, this all this Brexit thing coming out and making ourselves smaller and narrower. But, I mean, having said no. that, people could, could aim that criticism about, uh, you know, Scotland and England for wanting to split up. But having said that, I think they're not terribly compatible together, you see. Well, Scotty, uh, Boris was on the news today saying he's going to give the English, uh, I believe it's £1.2 billion for the NHS, but it doesn't mention anything about the Scottish NHS. Well, no, they are separate, if if, if, if if I've got it right. I mean, the Scottish Health Service... Scottish NHS is separate to the English NHS. Oh, yeah. And did Boris not promise us 350 million a week? Was that not on the side of the bus for the NHS? You took the words out of my mouth, Scotty, yeah, that's absolutely correct. Yeah, so, I mean, if he's promised that, should we not be seeing that getting delivered to the NHS? I would like to think so, Scotty. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway, Scotty, it was nice to talk to you and I wish you a good night and all your, your listeners. Nice to talk to you, Shui, and, and, and dinky do, sir. You think you, sir. Good night. Good night. There we are. That's uh, that's Big Huey on for a wee chat there. Oh one four one eight double one oh four seven five. You're listening to Scotty McClue's Nightline. We're live on Nation Radio, the world's top radio station, the big one, the one everyone's talking about, the one everyone is listening to. This radio station is absolutely loved and adored. Michelle. Yes, I've been listening to you for thirteen. How are you, darling? Are you dinky yeah. there? No, yes, I'm very, very dinky-doo. Very dinky-doo. Can you turn your radio down, Michelle, so I can hear you? Aye. That's better. There we are. And then I can hear you. Now, Aye. you've been listening to me since you were 13. Yes, and I'm 47 now. Good Lord. You'll be giving, you'll be giving my age away. <laughs> I'm an old woman now. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic, you yes, to, absolutely. You, you used to be on a Friday night years ago. Yes, yes, we were on We were on every night. Yes. Aye. That's right, we are on every night. And then we went on to the mornings. Yes, Aye, yes. Scotland, uh, no, it Aye. was Scott, Scott FM. Yes, that's right. Scott FM Scott Radio, that, that Aye. was it. Aye. Yeah, fantastic. That was a brilliant radio I station. I know. And then they thought they thought they'd get they thought they'd get rid of me and they lost all their audience. <laughs> that was the end of that. <laughs> it was funny because they had a saying at the time. Aye. That one of the managers, Michelle, I must tell you this one. He he thought he stood up and he says, Nobody is bigger than the radio station. That's and right. somebody else corrected him and said, uh, I think you've got a wee mistake there. I think my clue is. I've got my clue. I carry on, you know. But it was harsh. It was very harsh on me at the time. Do you know what I mean? Because I just had to Aye. go away from all that Aye. wonderful chat, you know. Aye. And and, and, and the people, went, went, all of Scotland were dancing and laughing with their granny and their auntie Fanny, you know. But do you not think, Michelle, you're glad and you're anti-fanny, do you not think that if something's very successful, they're always trying to get rid of it? You know what I mean? Oh, no, we can't have that. No, it's too successful. No, no. no. <laughs> the Scots don't like success. They don't like the blah. <laughs> but there we go. <laughs> but we missed it, you know what I mean? Oh. Oh, there's a lot of fun though. We've got a lot of the dafties coming on. Because we, we, you see, you see, the station got so big that every dafty thought they they would come on. You should have. You should have phoned in for a wee chat. You know. I tell you, no, but I mean that's that's, that's uh, you know that wasn't a problem. With, you could probably the, the the lovable lassie would have rung you back, or the wizard of the big switchboard at the time. Aye. If somebody was signing on, they'd probably have rung you back, you know. <laughs> it's good stuff, isn't it? I know that. I know. Do you know what I heard the day? A guy, a guy was going to a residential school, right? And he, he was kind of jack the lad, you know. So the, the head teacher says to him, have you any questions, son? And he goes, um, is smoking allowed? He goes, no, no, it certainly is not. He goes, what about drinking? Are you allowed a wee can? He goes, no, no, you certainly are not. And he says, what about dates? He says, dates are okay as long as you don't eat too many. <laughs> I date when you get back to the dates. <laughs> I love that. I went in a proof school. <laughs> it was approved. <laughs> Who approved it? The police? <laughs> no. No, I didn't. I know you did, Dave, but that was, the, that was the, wee, the wee joke that was doing the rounds at the time. I, I went to an approved I school. Who approved it? The police. The dates. I the dates. <laughs> <I'm in> dates. <laughs> Don't eat too I many. <laughs> Oh, fantastic. Do you mind the dates? I've never tasted dates. What are they like? Are they, are they right? I haven't never tasted them either. No, they look a wee bit stuck together, you know. 
People, people used to offer me sports mixtures. I would go, oh, that's two stuck together there. Oh, I do. Back sports mixtures. Very nice. I liked the, yeah, uh, I liked the, uh, the red and the black ones. Oh, but I like sports mixtures. Sport, are there fruit, like fruit salad? Did you like a fruit salad? Get a wee black yeah, cricket bat. The, the blackjacks. Blackjacks, four black. blackjacks for a penny. Aye, that's right, aye. That's right, and you got to... Aye. Two, a penny chew or two halfpenny chews? Aye, that's right, aye. <laughs> and what we used to do, Michelle, we had to do this... A 10 p mixer, the, the, and you stood for hours staring at the penny tray, you know, as it was like a major aye. decision. That's why I think Scottish Wains are very good at making big business decisions when they grow up, you know, because they all had to decide what to have off the penny tray. Aye. Give me one of them. Give one of them. Aye, and give one of them. And give one, 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 one of the wee bottles of ginger. Aye, that's right, aye. <laughs> no, that's, that's all you had. No, and you worked it out in your head, you know. You worked it out in your head. Aye. You went, how much are your bottles of ginger? How much are your biscuits and butter? Mm. Aye, that's right, I'll aye. take one of them and one of them then. One of them, one of them, one of them. <laughs> then we get a bit richer. You get a tea mixer, <laughs> and the I wonder how out. many Scottish people, when they got their first wage, went in and got the penny tray, you know? Aye, I know. Huh? says, G give us 15 white mice <laughs> and, four, and four bananas. I do bananas. What was the wee one that kind of melted in your mouth? A shell. It was a kind of, kind of pink shell. stuff. Aye, but it, it melted. Oh, those sherbet blew your head off. Ah, so once you got a sherbet fountain, you're... Oh! Woo! My feet's not dead. You blew off anyway. I Sir Plumes. The Sir Plumes changed your expression. Aye. I know. I am... The joys are gone. But people were going, what's what's up with your face? You're going, ah, that's not a... Sir Plumes. Sir Plumes. <laughs> oh, it's lovely to hear you, Dali. And listen, Dinky Do, nay bother, and we will catch up soon. Dinky Do, Dinky Do, Angel, lovely to hear you. Fantastic. I can't believe she's 47. To the telephones as quickly as possible 0141 811 0475. Scotty McClue's Nightline, just for you and the radio, Nation Radio, 96.3 in the FM, www nationradio.scot back to the telephones we are stowed out the door Anna Scotty Anna darling Bentornato welcome oh Bentornato my darling scusi for being away oh darling you've honest to God we've all been oh no I was separated I felt separated it was as if they'd you know put me away in one of these what do you call it and I think oh. I've spoken to everyone in Nation Radio. To, <laughs> I've, I've spoken to about half a dozen different people. And I've got oh, different phone numbers you. and I've phoned all of them. And I said, let me know what's happening to Scotty. Oh. And they said, oh, he'll be back all right. And I thought, God, maybe your old chest has played up. No, no, we're fine. Holiday. Yes, well, I decided to take a wee holiday. We had a wee problem, as you know, with the um, the gremlins. Yes. And uh, they said, no, we'll sort all that out for you. So I said, well, look, I'll take a wee holiday. And um, and that was that. So I had a lovely wee holiday. And then I came back and they just got the figures the other day. The figures are excellent and um, very, very big on a Sunday night. That's because you come on, you see. So I said, right. So we decided that uh, Friday night and Saturday night would let the people have their music. Oh, and uh, music, I know, oh, I know there's plenty of music, but they love their music. music. I know, I know. And uh, anyway, so Sunday night. So I said, look, we'll do Sunday nights and we'll get everybody on. Well, darling, at least you're back with us. Because so there we are. I was very concerned. In fact, you were even in my prayers at night. Oh, darling, bless oh, you. What well, a lovely, God lovely thought. It's got to be all right. Yes, we yes. We missed you terribly. Well, and I missed even, all of you. Even, even if we had maybe a Friday and a Sunday, but 
one night it will is brilliant, like Hogman A. But we need another night. We need. We need another night. You. But I think what we'll do is I'll earn my spurs on a Sunday night. Yes. And then uh, we'll, we'll we'll face the big boss up with that. You know what I mean? Well, we're all behind <laughs> you, Scotty. <laughs> I will say, listen. We're all behind you. Because There's your audience. We've spoken to. We're, we're really, really upset. Saying, God, what are we going to do if he, if he doesn't come back? I know because it's a, we're, we're, we're like a we're like a massive club. You know what I mean? It's, it's like a club and, and like a family. Yes, it is a family. It is a family. I light up when I hear every day. Of course you do. You're and listen, with every type of person that comes on. You're Anna. great at consoling people. You're great for a chat. You're great for some, like, Linda. Is that not wonderful? Oh, now, I was just going to say, I can't thank you enough for finding us, Linda. What an angel she is. She is wonderful. And her sound, her sound is beautiful. I mean, that, you know, the Dark fraction. Island. Yes. That's a fraction of how she used to play. She's, she's funny, though. She's, she, you know, she's, she's just, she just not one for blowing her trumpet. Not and really. you know, she's just the opposite of that. And I had to say to her, I was laughing, laughing tonight when I said to her, um, have you another wee treat up your sleeve? And she says, no, just the Dark Island. I says, no, that's not just the Dark Island. That's wonderful. Know. You know, but I was just I checking in that. case she had a couple of tunes because I like to talk the tunes with her. Well, she's, the thing mm. is, she's got a, she has a melody for Friday, which she'll, mm. you know, but unfortunately you won't be here. No, I won't. Oh, I darling, won't. I oh. So oh. Oh. But listen, now, we'll get over it because I, listen, I thank God for small mercies. I'm delighted we're here on a Sunday night because we know there's a big audience and, you know, we'll, we'll be thankful we'll treat them. <laughs> well, do you remember they used to say that, Zana? They used to say, now be thankful for small mercies. <laughs> Well, I've certainly hammered every one of them. Yeah, you're an angel. Now, I want to know about you. I want to know about your health, please. Oh, I'm coming on fine, Scotty. Thank you. Because you had that fall and uh, what they call in Scotland a tumble. A real tumble. A tumble. I actually tumbled. <laughs> oh, I tumbled right down. Oh. No, I, I'm... I still have my Zimmer thing to help me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But um, thank God mentally I'm brilliant. You know? Oh, you're superb. You always it have been. Affected me in no, no. Because the thing is you can't, you must watch that you protect you. Because yeah. you are you and you are unique. Well, so the next time we'll do some modelling, what we'll do is we'll whip that simmer out the road just when you're standing and say, just hold it there, Anna, that's perfect. Oh, I've done it, I've done it so often. <laughs> and just slightly to your left, dear, just, yeah, just, just, there we are, that's beautiful. That's right, let's do pockets. <laughs> yes, and, and look out, as if you're looking out to sea, Anna, there, yeah. just hold it there, hold it there. Do pockets, that's right. <laughs> Doing the pockets was a great one, you know. Oh, oh wonderful. That great memories. Wonderful, you know. Great to have you back. Oh, my darling, I love you. It's as simple as that. You, you know, and it's one of these we love affairs that just, you know, has been going on through the ether for a long time. <laughs> for years and years. Mm -hmm. Well, tonight, you know? when I say my prayers, I'll be thanking God that you're all right and you're back. I used to point to society magazines and go, is that not gorgeous? And somebody say, oh, it's all right. It's a very smart outfit. I would say, I'm not talking about the outfit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Scotty, you're something else. <laughs> <laughs> well, there we are, my darling. And uh, we will catch up soon. We'll catch up very soon. Yes, yes. And, and thank you for everything. It. And thank you for everything, and thank God you're all right and you're back. We're back, and we're back in business, and we're back That's big style. <laughs> That's what I said, bentornato. Oh, bentornato. Thanks, Anna, bless you. Bless you, Scotty. Night, night, darling. Night, night, angel, and sleep well. God bless. All is well. God bless you. What a lovely, lovely lady. That's our Anna. 
an absolute lady and um, you know she deserves a wee dame hood for finding us Linda on the accordion how tremendous is that if you've just joined us a very very warm welcome you're shockingly horribly and appallingly late of course we start at 10 o'clock sharp every sunday night from 10 o'clock to midnight scotty mcclue's nightline on nation radio just for you dinky doo Scotty McClue's Nightline with City Blinds and Shutters. All this month, get three for two on fabric and PVC vertical blinds. Get a free quote at cityblindman.com. With a two-year unlimited mileage warranty and two-year UK and European roadside assistance, we're there for you. Even if you're not too sure where there is... Land Rover approved used. Winner of What Car Best Used Car Scheme, two years running. Search Land Rover approved. Land Rover, above and beyond. Scotty McClue's Nightline. 96.3 Nation Radio. Call Scotty now. 0141 811 0475. Nation, Nation Radio. You're listening to Scotty McClure on Nation Radio, just for you, Dinky Doo, 96.3 on the FM. This is the big one. Thank you, thank you for making the switch to Nation Radio. 52,000 of you. <sighs> Wonderful. Right, uh, 0141 811 0475. Back to the telephones. David. Hello. Hello, sir. How are you doing, my friend? I'm very well, my friend. Nice to hear you. That's great. You too. Never a dull moment. Ah, oh, you know me. <laughs> <laughs> Same as yourself. Yeah. Same as yourself. Just, just getting on with it. The way it be. I'm just thinking, you no, know, music's one thing, but mm -hmm. it's up to Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Chat's another, isn't it? Music's one thing, chat's another. That's how about we work with the big bosses, we call them? The big yeah, bosses. Oh, yeah. Sunday, Monday, yeah, Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that'd be, you know, in the film of the weekend, you know what I mean? <laughs> Well, the weekend is... It, the, do you know what actually is behind it, David? The station is so popular. And Nation Radio, I've got to hand it to them. This is just between you and I, and I know you'll uh, not say DJs, anything. Great DJs. You know, I've got to hand it to them. They've got superb DJs. Yeah, got place great presentation. Well, yes, but you see, they've actually been very, very good putting it on because there are very few talk shows in the country. Every local radio station used to have a phone-in. And that was how they spent their evenings. And, I mean, I've worked on virtually every station in the country. Do you know what I mean? I can't play it. And uh, from that point of view, but they're cutting back, cutting back, cutting back on phone-ins because, um, you know, they, they, they're always trying to get a so-called younger audience. But the whole thing is, what I used to say to television people, they'll say, yes, we're putting a lot of pop music on during the night. I say, there aren't any young people listening to you or watching you during the night. You see? And they didn't realise that. They were going, yeah, somebody was sitting up, maybe having a weekend and all. I said, no, 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 no. They're all in their bed. Who's sitting up is the older people that are finding it difficult to sleep. And I would say to the television company, stick on some black and white movies. Whatever happened to the art of conversation? <laughs> you know, this is it. Well, you see, this is what somebody asked me. They said, Scotty. You have all this experience in your background. How would you describe yourself? Are you an actor? Are you a broadcaster? Are you a politician? What are you? I would say you're a professional I, broadcaster. I would I'm say a I'm a conversationalist. I'm a professional broadcaster. And you've got like a career forward to from all over the country, and that should obviously boost the numbers. That does, it does. People online, etc. So you move at the times, as you say, you're a lord of the internet, you know what I mean? So. The first lord of the internet, because we had to move with the times. There's no point in people... See, when the internet came up, people were going, ah, oh, no, I wouldn't bother about that, you know, and all. Mainstream television, mainstream radio. No, no, mainstream television, mainstream radio, plus the internet. 
because everybody's on that well, now, you know what I mean? more arrows to your bow, as you're saying, goes. You know? Absolutely, a few more arrows to your bow, a few strings to your bow, a few arrows to your quiver in your bow, you yeah, know? I'm not a fiddle uh, player. <laughs> and you're not a fiddle player, but you're a great archer. So, like, uh, you know. I don't know about that. I, I've never tried a longbow, you know? <laughs> the, longbow, the, the longbow and the crossbow. <laughs> Aye, well, not my style, not my style. Not really, no, 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 we're not in the business of I'm that. A, I'm a clayboard man, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and I, I like my whistle. I like my winks. <laughs> I'm a black belt in karaoke. <laughs> well, of course, of course. But I think, uh, I think you've got to actually say, no, look, this is what people are doing. It's, it's very funny because a lot of people, when they go to program a television station or a radio station, they say, right, well, wh wh what are the people doing? Which is good, which is wise. What are the people doing at that point? But then they sort of think, nah, well, you see, now I have a different view. I say you yourselves must set the agenda. So when people would say... That's exactly what I'm trying to do. You know, when people would say, Scotty McClure, uh, put them on at night because nobody's listening. Wrong. Everybody's listening. Do you see what I mean? I it's all that. They used to talk about, well, they used to talk about, um, when we first came to Scott FM, they said, we're going to put you on night because hardly anybody's listening. So if you can get anybody at all, suddenly 80,000 people per half hour had joined us. 80,000. It's got a knock-on effect as well, because obviously if they're listening to you, they'd know tune into the radio. Yes, but I think what the, the point I'm making, if you give the listeners what they want, they will reward you with their listenership. Well, I don't you know, know how that works out, you know, but presumably there's some kind of... Well, it's a wee and bit like, say, for instance, oh, why? Why? Well, they do it. They do it by samples. Television's slightly different because on the sets they have an idea who's watching what when. You know, it's it's that kind of thing. They've so so there's well, an they, idea they've there. Got a thing, but there's got to be there's got to be some kind of um, I don't know surveys, etc. Mm. Well, we we, we do a survey called uh, Rajar. Uh, you know, and they they will take samples of what people are listening to, and then you're multiplying your samples. <laughs> you know, sonar. I know that's right. You listen to this right? Phone in, phone in, and register. Vote for Scotty McClue on the radio. <laughs> Electronic voting. Anyway, on, on, on a serious note, no, no. Ah. Margaret Thatcher, no ever yes. on and and. and but um, the other thing is, great ladies, uh, my lady's a great accordion, and that was superb with Dark Isle. And Anna, wow. she's just a gem, they're both gems. They're lovely, lovely anyway, people. Perfect, perfect. Perfect people, um, perfect people. Yeah. Now, Margaret Thatcher, Maggie Thatcher, back to Maggie um, Thatcher. Um, she got a lot of me. things wrong as well, you know. Oh, well, God rest his soul. Mine's name is Alan Miller. And he's passed away. Mm -hmm. But he was editor of the Times, so he was. Mm -hmm. Right? And uh, he, the man could do. Even, he was retired, but, but before he died, the one thing he said about Maggie Thatcher was she sold the Crown Jewels. She sold the Crown Jewels? It's quite right. No, I mean, everything. Everything, everything had gone. BT for starters. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, um, British public was like, just greed. Um, they knew it was a surefire winner. It's like, put a fiver on, you're bound to win 50. You know what I mean? Yeah, so I think, uh, you see, it's, it's, it's a bit of a moot point, this. Because the government themselves are not the best at running anything, as we know. We could know that from the state of the government, you know what I mean? Then, that was information but technology. So nationalisation, nationalisation has always been a moot point. You know, they nationalised the railways, but British Rail was some setup, And then they nationalised the mines. Well, as now, shall we say, any time yes. we're going to get signalling problems and blah, 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 and they tend to invest in the high speed, but... When, when they talk about the North England, you know. When, is it, is but it, when it, you've got uh, when you've uh, got an essential service, right, and you've got shareholders to please, it's a double-edged sword because, you know, shareholders will keep the thing moving, but also they'll have their pencil so sharp 
because they need their rake off. Whereas the rake off should really be going to improve the signalling and the service and the frequency of trains and the length of the trains. You see, supposedly, all that kind of thing. But it needs, there's, it's, it, they're so large that they're actually unwieldy. And that doesn't seem to really happen to the Well, you see, the problem is that this country is, it's changing. There's a lot of change going on, but this country, by and large, has traded for far too long on the Victorian infrastructure. And that's possibly why you've got a problem with this dam at the moment. Well, that's another story. That, that's well done you know? after that one. And presumably the men, you know, the engineers of the dam for point Oh, brilliant. Point. Yes. Yes. But that's, that's just an indication, A, that climate is changing, and B, that, um, you know, we're, we're trading on, uh, on Victorian infrastructure. Which doesn't help, which is, i.e., should have been invested in a long time, i.e. Well, it's right. nearly 150 uh, years old, you know. Promises, sort of, to degree, you know what yeah. I mean? That man ain't short of you, Bob, you know what I mean? 150 years old, and you see, the problem is, here we are, coming out of Europe for effectively no reason, because I don't fall for this democracy well, thing. Do you know what I mean? I, I don't mean, fall for yeah, it, because well, that's it not democracy. Like, um, Boris has got other ideas, you might as well call him Frankenstein. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah that's well, well, no, well, I mean, that's opinion, but, I mean, the thing is that... Um, you know, there's other people. Once we come out of Europe, our protection from Europe oh, and yeah, the, the management like goes. Plus, oh, the companies are, there's no effort Yeah, but even there. bigger than that, other it. other countries are looking at saying, right, as soon as see when they're clear of Brussels, move in there and see what's ripe for the picking. Well, I understand, but it's just pure, pure jobs and mm. investment. At risk, basically. And that'll make that'll make Margaret Thatcher look like a good fairy. Well, <laughs> once that starts, do you know what I mean? But she's a Tory hero. I mean, I'm sorry. I, 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 yes, it's interesting. But you see, the Nationalists today had a big argument in social media because I can't but get I'm, I'm these an, people. I'm an labour man, and no, I'm, uh, I respect. Well, they've they've they've, they've kind of had. He is sort of old labour. It is old labour. It is old labour. I mean, I'm a, I'm a fan one. Of Michael Foot and stuff. You know? Yes, yes, because he, because you're a clever man, and these were clever men. My yes, problem is, to you, know, D, you know, I mean, no, and oh, I, I mean, they were clever. What do we need it for? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. There's all that going on. So I mean, but you, you, you're not changed. You've got to. Do you remember? Um, a little prayer that said, you know, God, help me to change the things I can do, to recognise the things I can't change, and the wisdom to know the difference, you know what I mean? Sort of. But anyway, my mum paper, it's all creatures great and small. <laughs> you know? All creatures great and small, absolutely. No, it's wonderful. But, but the worry is when people are saying, we want our country back, we've never, ever lost our country. I'm aware of that. And another one that you get is, if you love Europe, why don't you move to Europe? Uh -huh. Have you heard that one? If you love Europe so much, why don't you move to Europe? You think, we're in Europe. It's our Europe. No, I always thought we were. Although we're an island. It's just amazing. Anyway, my dear fellow, I'm going to have to dash... But, uh, lovely to talk to you, you know, lovely always talk. lovely talking anyway. to you. A very clever man, and we enjoy that. It keeps the standards up, you know. <laughs> anyway, I hope you get Monday and Tuesday too. You do. Take care. Monday, Tuesday, right? Take care of Dinky Doola. <laughs> what a top man. To the telephones as quickly as possible. Oh one four one eight double one oh four seven five. Scotty McClue's Nightline, live on Nation Radio, just for you. Dinky Doo, back to the telephones. Hello, you're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? It's Rab? Rab from Craig and York. Rab from Craig York, how are you, la? I'm doing. I'm. I'm. I'm doing. I'm a hundred percent. Welcome back. What about you? Where, where I'm. Ab you? I'm absolutely a hundred percent. I was away in my holly bags. Where you know where the Gremlin. I, I went away up north. Away up north. Very nice. Oh, I. I, I found the. Uh, what do you call it? The. Um, 
Smokies, or Bruce Smokies. Or Bruce Smokies, very nice, yes. The, 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 what do you call it? I'm not going to buy supermarket. The, super, the, the supermarkets you go to doesn't do I was trying to get them the other day. And, and our Bruce Smokies, yes. You can get them, aye, I think, well, when you're at our Bruce, you can get them from the Smokies. Aye, aye, aye. Yeah, and aye, you aye, just aye. have them in your hand and you eat them. Uh, it's a bit straight. See, we're talking about the talk about you know the uh, things that they don't. Uh, the, 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 you know they're trying they're trying to stop that among other things. Was the EU the EU it was winter? The EU. Many well, times stop sm- stop away, smoking. Stop smoking. to people. They were getting butter away to people. They're trying to stop it because it was a. <laughs> how, long, how long have they been doing this, Scott? You'll know about oh, that. Oh, hundreds and hundreds of years. Know. I mean, the herring, right. the herring trade right. in, you know. I mean, you'd be talking. Hold on, hold on. Yes, I would. I, I would think the, the herring trade will be maybe two hundred fifty years old. Does it no make a lot? Does it no make a, a laughing stock in the EU when they want? They want it's, it's a hazard. Well, no, they were, what they were saying was the oak chips, you see what I mean? I mean, they were even saying, and this wasn't the year, but they were saying that toast isn't good for you. Now, you know, toast toast is a lifeline for me. I, you know, you know, I'll tell you that they're, they're kind of set, sort of right in a way, right? See, see if you get a fr- the frying pan and you and you and you and, and you have a black, even on the even on the the, uh, the barbecue, right? And you get that, you know, you get that black bit on it. Yeah, the charcoal. Aye, yes. Right. So never mind that. So we're talking. So in other words, charcoal's talking. not good for you. You know, carbon. Uh, carbon uh, is not good for you. As you said, we were cooking there just before that. Was it fish? Fish are both smokies. Aye, aye. Well, but anyway, I, I, I can't remember what I've got to say. But see the the black stuff. The, whatever it was we're talking about, it was, I know it was to do with that anyway. It's like, you see, they got that black stuff inside. It's supposed to be pretty bad, you know. Yes, uh, the carbon. Uh, Anyway, never mind that. Right. Never so, mind all that. Well, NH, NHS has let me down. Right. Badly. Badly. Now, I've been waiting, uh, I waited three years and had a doctor in the other day. I won't say the hospital, I had a doctor, no. in, a, a doctor in the other day. Mm-hmm. And the guy couldn't, uh, you know, the guy. So, because I, because I couldn't, this time I couldn't come to him, he came to me. Right. Mm-hmm. So, this has been going on for three years, right. Mm-hmm. And, uh, is this your back? Yeah, uh, back is uh, This is affecting my. Uh, if they go, he's going to put me on another, another. Uh, uh, I'm not. I'm not going to go to that. I better not say the whole. No, right. We're not. We're not going to that. I'm not going to that hospital. No, this, right. So right. I'm going to send it somewhere else. Right. And uh, that, that that because it's. Uh, I think the specialist is going to get me to see. But listen to this. Uh, uh, he was in. He was in another day there. You know, I think it was about four or five days ago. And within mm. 10 minutes, he told me the hernia that we needed repaired. And that was down yes. in that area where the, the net and yes. the net sat to dragging me, dragging me, and it's got something to do with the. the That's right, they can uh, put a wee bit netting on, can't they, and keep everything up? Aye. Aye, that. Uh-huh. I, I told the, I, the nurse told me one in 500 comes back and, and see the surgeon that done it. Is, is dead now, right? Because I was trying to get back to him about this netting. Mm. Uh, when, I, when I spoke to him, he didn't seem very happy when when uh, the nurse said one in five hundred. He said, "No one comes quite, quite loudly say no one comes back at all." Mm-hmm. He thought it's permanent, so it's great. It's great to somebody else anyway, and it's it's like as if I've got a double hernia, right? <coughs> Yes, but the, th- the thing is, you, what you've got to remember is that you do, once you've had a repair like that, because I suppose it's effectively a repair, you know what I mean? Like a Aye, punctured so repair. Once you've there, had a I... repair, you've got to remember Aye. you've got a weakness there, you know? Aye. 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 But what happened, that's right, but what, 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 what caused the, the hernia was, and you're, you're dead right, by the way, I knew that anyway, a appendix taken out. Yes. And I, I got to the doctor said to me after it, I said, I said to him, uh, would that bring on you know more chance of having a, he- a hernia? Because I had the I had the uh, I had the, the appendix right. Yes. And then, uh, uh, two two months after it, unless just slightly less than two months, listen to us, slightly less than two months, I got had the hernia, and they couldn't do the hernia because <laughs> they had to wait for the appendix to heal for three yes. months. Yes. I had to put this for three months. But see this year I've got the new, uh, it's, it's a thing, oh, it's unbelievable. See the pain, it's 
been doing my legs and everything. I've got a nurse coming in tomorrow. I, what I was going to say was just quickly, right? What was going Ronnie, to say? what it might be, it might be, um, you know, what what you might be getting is what they call referred pain, and um, you know, it's 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 like having a pins and needles with circulation, you know, Aye. and, no, and it's it's just touching the nerves. All right, that's correct. You're dead right, but in a different way. Yes, the same, the same only different by the way. Yes, yeah, the same way but different. You know what I'm trying to say. I see. What's this? The same only different. I've got spinal, fu uh, spinal fusion, right? Yes. And it's actually see what it was fused. So you'll get a referral from that as well. I was, I was this. I that's dead right. You're dead right. So see the four discs that was fused. Yes. Broke in the middle. Yes. And causing causing nerves. Is, I see the and what they've done is they've gave us that strong. Hi, hi, uh, what is it? Yes. Uh, dehyd dehydrochloride, whatever they call it. Yes. The, uh, I don't know if it's mentioned it. You, you don't mention the drugs, do you? No, you don't mention the drugs, but what you're needing to do is make sure you get all that wait, out wait, of wait, your wait, system. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I know, wait a minute. He's gave me that because the, the pain is. Uh, see the tie? Oh, sorry. See the, see the ones that I was on? Mm. They were not a good enough. So I've got. See, you'll, have, you'll, get, you'll get an appointment in two. What? Point in two weeks, and it seemed to carried on quickly because I was going yes. to go private, and it seemed to push this on. But listen to this, listen to this before I go. Uh, three or four months ago, uh, a, a specialist in the hospital is under study. Went butterfly fingers on my tummy, and I was, yes. talking, to, I was talking to the woman in in, 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 in in the hospital, right? And and she was quite, she was like, sort of quite funny. She knew what I was talking about. Uh, Butterfly, the doctor uh, under study uh, checked me out on my stomach with butterfly fingers and said, "Listen, to this, there's no, there's no, he uh, no hernia, there's no problems in netting, and your belly button's all right." Now, the <laughs> very found out his, his fingers were going along along my stomach like yes. a piano. Yes, you know, he's what he's what, what you call a diagnostician. How can you tell? How because he's a diagnostician. A, he's a diagnostician. How, how, how did he know? No, he's, he's no, he's a, what do you call uh, He's a, he's a, what do you call uh, GP. Yes, but he's a, a diagnostician. He diagnoses well. See, listen, see a GP. I reckon you've got more, more to help a person physically and mentally with a body than a GP. They're only a general practitioner. Somebody told me that uh, if, I, if I can do it, if you've got a bit of sense and common sense, you could do it. But what the problem is here, why did Tino know no, no had a hernia at that time? Is well, that smell, there a bad smell the, 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 the only reason, the only reason I, I know about your discs is because I'm a disc jockey. <laughs> 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 Listen, you take great care of yourself and we'll catch up soon. Ta -la -la. Let us all know how you go. Uh, no, uh, Sunday. So there we are. Right, that's him. To your telephones as quickly as possible. 0141 811 0475. You're listening to Scott McClue, live on Nation Radio, just for you. Think you do? Scotty McClue's Nightline with City Blinds and Shutters. Get 25% off all wooden blinds till the end of the month. Get a free quote at cityblindman.com. Advertising on 96.3 Nation Radio works. I'm Mark Tomney from GCRM. I decided to advertise in Nation Radio because it really hit my patient demographic and it was really good in the Glasgow area. Best part of my campaign that's really worked well as the patient age group within a reach that we've got. It's been really engaging and it's brought a lot of business through to the, the clinic. If anyone's thinking of advertising in Nation Radio, I would really advise them strongly to do so. It's a great radio station. It's got a really good reach and a lot of good people work with them as well. To find out how you can reach 50,000 weekly listeners, contact the Nation Radio sales team at sales at nationradio.scott. Scotty McClue's Nightline. Nightline. Scotty McClue's Nightline. Nation, Nation Radio. 
Yes, indeed. You're listening to Nation Radio. You've, you've just joined us. You're very, very welcome. Shockingly late, of course. We start at 10 o'clock sharp. Sunday nights only for the time being. Pro tempore. I say Scotty McClue's nightline between 10 o'clock and midnight on a Sunday night on Nation Radio. Back to the telephones. Stephen. Steve, ah, how are you doing, my friend? How are you? Hi, Digla. I think Rab thought oh. he was at the doctor's there. Are you dinky-doo? <laughs> I am very dinky-doo. How are you, Lala? Oh, I'm <laughs> Absolutely ah. fantastic. Tell you about it. Listen, can I, you not oh. get you on on a Wednesday night? On a Wednesday yes, night the as well, special. you know? Think about the, it. The midweek <laughs> special. The midweek special coming down the line. Hi. <laughs> The midweek special coming down the line. Do you, remember, oh, do you like that? And we're doing all right. Doing, doing, yeah, and we're all not? doing all right. Do you not remember? Do you remember Casey Jones? No, don't. And, and he used to, Casey Jones. Casey Jones was a children's program. It was bought in from America. Not sure if it was in BBC or ITV, and um, it was. Uh, uh, it was kind of almost kind of North American, and it had a tune. They were on a railway. And Casey Jones was the engine driver, and um, there was the fa- Wally was the fireman, and Red Rock was the was the guard. And the tune used to go something like this. Let me see if I remember it. Is a uh, Casey Jones steaming and a rolling. Casey Jones, you never have to guess when you hear the toot and all the whistle. It's Casey at the throttle of the Cannonball Express. And then there's a segment he's going, and there's Casey Jr. and Red Rock too, Fireman Wally and the rest of the crew in a thrilling adventure that's full of fun when Casey takes the cannonball for another run. (laughs) 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 Well, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> now that's not bad. I'm still I'm still on a rolling here. I'm telling you. Now that's not bad when you think that was on about fifty years ago. <laughs> oh, I can't even tell you. I've never heard that. Honestly, Casey Jones. I'm wondering if it was called the Cannonball Express. <laughs> there might be somebody even older than me that's listening that could remember. Mm. <laughs> but that, yeah. we used to rush home from school to hear it. I still say to you, Wednesday night, we need you. Wednesday night, we need Well, I said to the big boss, the big boss said he was chuffed, chuffed to bits with the with the audience figures came in the other day and he was absolutely beside himself with joy. And he says, right, he says, I, I, I'd quite like to keep the music going as well on a Friday and Saturday. And he said, but your audience is uh, tremendous on a Sunday as well. So if you want to go for Sundays, just like I said, boss, boss, I'm up for it, boss. Well, I'm shaking it, boss. Home, so when the big, well, when the big the boss phones, they're on 